everyone. My name is Michael Lombardo with GladFast Consulting, and today I'll be doing a demo of knowledge management. If I click on the knowledge homepage, you'll see I'll be brought to a set of knowledge bases. Based on the logged in user's role, they'll be able to see only the knowledge bases they have access to. So if I'm in IT and I only have the ability to view the IT knowledge base, I'll only be able to view those knowledge articles. We have the ability to browse through the knowledge base by category and subcategory. We also have the ability to search and filter the categories themselves. If I were to type in Mac, you'll see Mac subcategory came up. We also have the ability to search the knowledge base for any, for any content in the knowledge article or short description. So if I type in Outlook, everything related to Outlook comes up. And you'll see I also have the ability to filter by knowledge base, category, author. If we do have the access to create a knowledge article, we'll be able to also create one right from this page. ServiceNow also has a very intuitive text editor. So if we, similar to Microsoft Word, if we wanted to center text, if we wanted to underline, make italicize, different font sizes. So very intuitive, very easy to use for day one, getting your knowledge articles into ServiceNow. If I save this article, you'll see we have a workflow field here. By default, knowledge articles will be in the draft state and we do have the ability to roll restrict who can publish and retire knowledge articles. Knowledge can also be leveraged very heavily on the incident management module. As I start typing in the short description, you'll see it in real time searching the knowledge base. And without having to leave the form, I can preview a knowledge article and mark this as helped. Or maybe I can leave some feedback. And post it directly to the article. We also have the ability to, to set a topic for each knowledge article. So we may have a known error. We may have some news that we want to share to the user community. Now if I, t if I post something to the news, we may be able to leverage this to communicate information to our user community. So you'll see I just published a knowledge article to the news with the news topic. And if I go down to our self-service homepage, that news article is now in a scrolling widget on the self-service page. So we can now inform our users of some news that we wanted to, to communicate to them. We also have the ability to create automatically create knowledge articles. One of the most common ways is through incident management. So let's say you have a scenario where your level one service desk analyst um, escalates an incident to a level two. And that closing the loop from that tier two or tier three doesn't always happen, right? So your level one service desk analyst doesn't always get that answer as to, hey, how, how did you resolve this incident? Uh, and if that call comes in again, um, next week, an hour later, a month later, there's no closing the loop back to that service desk analyst to empower them to resolve that incident on their own. Um, ServiceNow addresses that issue out of the box. So there's this knowledge checkbox that exists out of the box. And if we go ahead and just check this knowledge base, I'm sorry, check this knowledge box, and I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Now let's say this incident has been escalated to that tier two um, or tier three analyst. When they go ahead and enter in, you know, their work notes, 
They've resolved the incident. They tell the user, hey, do this, this, and that. And they go ahead and resolve that. When the incident gets closed, I'm going to go ahead and close that. A knowledge base article is automatically created. Now, it does go into a draft state. But based on your knowledge management process, you can set that to be automatically published or go through a workflow or whatever your current process is. So next time that help desk analyst goes to search for this same short description, that knowledge base article will appear in the search results and it will empower that user to actually resolve this incident on their own without actually having to escalate it. Similar scenario, if this is on a problem, go ahead and save this. If we go ahead and check the known error checkbox, put some information in our work notes and in our description. I'm going to go ahead and save this. If we click the post knowledge related link right here, you'll see a knowledge base article is automatically created with that information. So we have a description and a workaround automatically created right from that problem record. All right. That's going to conclude the knowledge management demo. If anyone has any questions, they can email me at mike at glidefast.com. Thank you.